Hi, it's Rod, and this one's called God's Perfect Peace for Us. It's like this is a not experience perfect peace with God manual if you want to read it. There's lots of benefits reading this Bible, eternal life in heaven forever, peace and joy now from the Holy Spirit. But a lot of people think it's not important to read the Bible today. That's how you get to know who God is. That's how you get to know how to have a good relationship with him. It's like the Bible says, there's no peace for the wicked. The Bible says, by our sinful flesh nature, we're like enemies of God. And God has to do something to help us to become friends of his, where he can give us his peace. It's like God has tried to make peace with us through the cross of his own son Jesus. That we are justified by faith in the cross of Jesus Christ. And we now have peace with God through that, through the blood of Jesus. To have all our sins taken away. And then God can reward us with peace. And we have to decide to believe in these things. It says... Uh, God will give perfect peace to those who trust in him, whose minds are focused on him. We need to focus on certain truths of God to have peace with God, like uh, he's real, he's always with us, he's love, he can take good care of us, he can protect us, He's in full control. He's our helper. He's our comforter in times of suffering. He's our counselor. And Satan doesn't want us to believe in the truth about God. God's trying to get us to choose to believe in the truth about Him. It says that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is peace. It says that Peace comes from obeying God, hearing his voice, hearing God say, I like what you're doing. Having a good conscience before God. Jesus said, I'll give you my peace. The disciples were in a boat during a storm, and Jesus said to the storm, peace be still. So it's like our, our mind's racing or something. We need Jesus to say, Mind, be still, have peace. It's not about like the world's way to try to find peace through trying to control everything ourselves. <laughs> trying to deceive ourselves about how dangerous of a world it is in our mind so we can get our mind off it and be distracted from how dangerous it is to try to feel peaceful. And it's like people can say, peace, peace, and then sudden destruction hits when it's just a false peace. We want true peace. doesn't matter what the problems are. If Jesus is with me, he can help me to handle them. That's true peace. You get a perfect peace in a fiery furnace. You get a perfect peace in a lion's den. Perfect peace in a boat during a storm. It's like I had this vision. Me and Jesus were in a boat, and I was looking over at the coastline. It was all on fire. And I thought, hmm, is that a forest fire? Then I thought, it's a city on fire. And I thought, oh, I should be concerned about this. I looked at Jesus, and he just pointed to him, and he said in the boat, you're safe with me, Rod. It's like that. Jesus in the boat story. Disciples, you're safe with me. You'd be at peace. It's like all God has to do is just wave his hand, and the city on fire stops being on fire. Or wave his hand, and all your enemies drop dead at your feet like an ice and sapphire or something. We have to believe what the Bible says. God is real. He's in full control. He can do whatever he wants to. Sometimes he puts us in testing trials of difficult situations to see if we will trust in him. And we don't have to live a suffering-free life to have peace with God either. I can have perfect peace with back pain or something or perfect peace in a dangerous world. Why? Because I'm trusting in Jesus with me, Father God with me, the angels with me. Perfect Father God with me. Jesus said he wants to 
give us his peace. It's like he's trying to say to us, don't be anxious about anything, don't fear anything. The Bible says that God can make even our enemies at peace with us if our ways please him. That Jesus is our peace. Jesus said, don't be anxious about anything. Your Father will take care of you. Paul said, don't be anxious about anything. Pray, get close to God, ask him questions, feel his presence with you. And the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind. Supernatural peace. Not from trusting in my wisdom or muscles or money. Trusting in God's wisdom and muscles and money instead. The gospel of peace. The gospel of get your sins taken away. Come boldly into God's presence. Be with the God of peace. Peace is a sign of having faith in God. In his truth about him. Fear is a sign that we're doubting in God's truth about him. Believe in Satan's lies about him instead. We need to believe that heaven will be perfect peace forever and hell will be perfect fear and torment forever for God's enemies. God's trying to make a friendship relationship with us and bless us with peace for doing it. It's like we need to hear God say in our mind, I like what you're doing, have a good conscience with them. So, a lot of times, people can think that they have peace, but it's not a real peace. It's trusting in, I'm in control, or trusting in their wisdom, or muscles, or money. And we need to seek to trust in God's wisdom, and money, and muscles. And uh, then we can have perfect peace with Him. It's through the cross, it's through the blood, it's through His comforting prophetic words to us. I'm here, fear not, I'm holding your hand, I'll help you through it. Through believing in the truth about a good and awesome God, a God of peace that can help us to have perfect peace with Him if we want to choose to have faith in Him. So that's a bit about God's perfect peace for us.